that I haven't uploaded Feathered Nightmare yet. <laughs> I decided uh, to show you guys how to draw my character, Greg. You may know Greg if you've watched my channel. He's one of my characters. You know him from Library Pals. So, yeah, I figured I might as well teach you guys how to draw him today. So, Greg's design, honestly, is pretty similar to his friend Kyle, who has basically the same proportions as him. So, so first of all, you're going to need to do it on separate layers, because uh, if you're making an art piece for this, then you're going to want to make a sketch layer first. So, first of all, you're going to want to do the main sketch layer. You're going to want to make his head just a basic circle. So, I am going to just quickly draw a circle right here. I might regret using the pencil tool for this, but it's all good. Um, again, this is just the sketch, so if it doesn't look the best, then that's okay. We can always... Uh, oh, wait, nope. We're not drawing the ear just yet, guys. <laughs> all right, so up next is... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to make sure you got to make sure that the head is very consistent with the uh, rest of the thing. Okay, so also make sure you have the guidelines because guidelines are important. Because Greg's not an easy character to draw in 3D. Like he's he may have a round head, but uh, his I'll tell you more about how, why it's so hard about him in a few minutes. Um, okay, so now we're going to be drawing the rest of his body. And his body is actually basically just a rectangle and a few other random basic shapes. But uh, to draw the guideline of where it's going to go, I figured we might as well draw it as some lines. So, if you're drawing the lines, make sure that they're... You know, and here's the arms. Now, the arms might be the strangest part. So, here, let's say he's just making a little fancy pose here. Um, and remember to use these things because they're meant for the hands. And then maybe he could be, um, sort of making another interesting looking pose right here. All right, so once we're done doing that, uh, we basically have the uh, sketch done. So now what we're going to do is um, draw the main sketch. Here we go. All right, so now I'm on a different drawing layer, so this is going to look a little different. So now we're probably going to want to start off with a basic situation, his ear. So we're going to use a... You can use any brush you want, by the way. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have a nice... Uh, ear. So his ear is fairly round, but it's not too big to like overdo the face in any way. You just got to make sure it's nice and round and it's the right size. All right, and then you need to go all the way around his head, just basically making a basic circle. And once we finish that, Uh, we can probably uh, edit the head a little here, make it a little cleaner. Um, you can do that if you want. If you just want to make it a little more advanced than you want, then okay, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so up next uh, is the eyes and nose. So the nose is pretty simple, but if there's one thing you should probably remember about it, always make sure that the nose is underneath his eyes because his eyes are usually above the nose and you know that's sort of natural the only time his nose ever is doing like going in the middle of his face that is probably when he's squ doing something like squinting or making an angry looking face like you know the the iconic face that just has that his nose will probably be closer up to his face more just to emulate that that sort of feel and just add to space. But now we're going to draw his eyes. So I'm going to draw his natural eyes, which are usually pretty big. Um, quick history lesson. 
Uh, when I first came up with Greg as a character, his eyes were actually initially really small, and his hair was actually spiky, but I'll... Um, yeah. His eyes were actually much smaller than this before. They were kind of like... Not that size, but I'd say more this. Heck, even sometimes this. Uh, but yeah, I think you get the point, but... Uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. And then what you need to do, uh, is remember that this eye is not the same as his other eye. Um, if you want to keep it 3D, then you gotta make sure that it's nicely done. And, yeah. Alright, so let me just take a quick look at this. Uh, I'm gonna redraw that eye one more time. Um, again, if you want to, like, get things correctly, I suggest taking it slow and just, you know, keeping it simple. And, uh, yeah, that's all that really matters. Alright, so once that we've got his eyes, there's another last simple part of his eyes that we should probably remember. Add the glossy parts. Um, yeah, his, the glossy parts are pretty simple. All you need to do is just add a bit of shining over to them. And, you know, it makes him, gives him a charm. And no, that is not his pupils. That are, those are the gloss parts of his eyes. You'll see how that works later. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to do his hair. So Greg's hair is basically just a bunch of splotches. Well, not splotches, but... A bunch of clumps that are made in some kind of wave and spike ball look. It kind of goes in a little direction. Oh, and another important thing about Greg's hair, right here, uh, that always has to be at the end of his hair. It is those little two tough points. It kind of makes it a little more charming, you know? Um, Alright, so once that we've done that, you can still fix any mistakes you've got. And, uh, yeah, so... Once we've done that, we're going to move on to the mouth. Uh, oh, uh, just fixing this mistake. Um, so now we're going to move on to the mouth, which is fairly simple. Uh, it's the traditional uh, mouth that kind of uh, goes out like that. And the uh, top of the mouth right here is overlapping this part. Just to know, to give it a little more significance, you know. And his tongue is mostly visible unless he's making a more like a more like smaller movement with his mouth when uh, doing stuff like that. You don't have to have his tongue, but I usually tend to go with the tongue. The tongue is one of those normal looking uh, tongues that you see in most art nowadays. All right, so once we've done that, uh, we can now move on to the process of uh his body hope that didn't sound wrong <laughs> um anyways so his arms are kind of hard to understand like they're not they're not the proportions aren't exactly the most realistic thing in the world like as you can see here it's really just a huge jersey t-shirt he's wearing the shoulders aren't normally visible unless like However, I remember when I used to put the arms like this over his hand and then his body like that. Don't do that anymore, please. That looks ugly. So just make sure that it kind of blends in with the body a little bit. All right, and once we're, doing, we're done that, um, you can then draw his hand uh, if you want. Um, well, I mean, like you don't. All right, and just remember to use perspective. It's a pretty good thing you should probably know. Yeah, I'd say that it looks pretty good. Uh, add a little dent in there if you want. You don't have to, but you can if you want. And remember, when you're drawing Gle Greg's... <laughs> when you're drawing his sleeve, uh, there always has to be at least two, up to two of them visible. Uh, any more than... I mean, sure, if you want to, you can go with three, but I would prefer to stick to just two if you want to keep it as close. Then, what we're going to do is his body, we're basically just going to make it a huge rectangle that kind of, although the rectangle can also, like, kind of, like, go uh, back and forth a little bit. It kind of, like, bends out as it gets towards the bottom to make it feel a little more loose. Alright, so once we've done that, uh, you're going to want to make sure that... Another thing, uh, make sure, uh, if you're wondering about this line right here, that is not part of the final sketch. This, this, and this line are. 
So make sure again that there are mostly three lines visible. Again, you can do a fourth one if you want, but uh, make sure that there are at least three lines visible on a shirt because that usually just works. Uh, if you like, if you uh, unless uh, you of course uh, there's something overlapping that third line. Yeah. All right, I'm up to his legs, which once again have that very loose kind of 80s and 70s look to them. Um, you know, the kind of stuff that, like, stretches out. Again, you can't really see the bottom of him. He's just, just kind of sitting there. And his shoes, make sure that the leg is always going up unless, like, you know for certain reasons but make sure that the leg kind of just droops down a little bit towards it. it's always on a dent just to make it a little more you know akin to the pants he's wearing i don't know and his shoes are black too let's not forget that i'll talk more about the coloring process later uh but once we're done that we're gonna do his last pant leg here and once again it's uh it's pretty loose, and I think you will understand that in a second. Um, all right, uh, I think we've got most of it down. Now we just need to do his last arm. Um, again, he's sometimes got a little bit of overlapping. Um, overlapping is pretty important if you want to make your characters look a little more three-dimensional. Um, yeah, that'll work. Um, all right, so once we've done that, we're going to want to draw his next hand, which, once again, if his... Actually, if his sleeve is facing out like that, it's okay to just go around it a little bit. Uh, but I highly suggest drawing the hand first. So once you do that, you do this, and you do that. Oh, I really like that hand shape, actually. That turns out pretty good. Um, all right. Um, once we've got that down. Actually, you know what? I think we should make his uh, sleeve a little thicker. So... Uh... All right. So we've gotten the pretty much the whole drawing done. So now we're going to go on to the uh so basically we can now just make his sketch layer un invisible and yeah i think that's safe to say that that is how you can draw greg oh and let's not forget uh we can also color in his eyes okay that went wrong <laughs> but of course you can always use close gap to fix that oh and you can also uh do that if you want all right that, ladies and gents, is how you draw Greg. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and...